Hi, my name is Ben from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our brand new Winnebago Travados. It's a 59G. It's a 2023 with the new Ram chassis on it as well. So here we have, this is, uh, I'm not sure what the exact color is listed by. You can see on the sheet inside, it's a silverish gray. Um, we'll go around, show you some features. If there's anything we miss, please comment or send me a message uh, so we can chat about it. Help you find the right camper for you. So, side doors, just in the front chassis, they do open nice and wide. You'll notice on the running boards, a uh, little latch here, so if you want to uh, dog leash, things like that, pet leash, we have this seat swiveled around. Um, so we'll do some of the other chassis viewing from the driver's side mainly. So right away, you have outside light here, beautiful LED light strip with the awning. The running board from prior years, or years ago, they had lifted it up a little bit higher so you're not going to clip things while you're using it on the bottom. <clears throat> this screen system here, this drops down, you have a zipper that pulls and then a magnet system here so when you release it comes back together. That way if you want to walk out you don't have to worry about ripping, you don't have to worry about a sliding mechanism that may get dirt in it and get possibly get caught up. Um, handle coming right in, right next to our entry. We have part of our control panel on off switch for our coach battery, our awning, retract, extend, awning light, on and off, some other lights as well. The other thing is that handle that I grabbed onto, it's a Ram track handle. So multiple attachments can be hooked onto this. Uh, this table can be as well. So this table right now we have at a level four, uh, the chair, but with these B vans, it's not just of modifying it with do-it-yourself items, which a lot of people like to do that, but also they've made it in a way where everything in this can be used in many different ways. So this table, for example, when we have our countertop extension up, this table adds so we have huge counter space. You can be standing inside, huge counter space, lots of room, or even for some people, Maybe I got a beautiful view, I got the screen open, got my laptop out here doing some remote work. Lots of options. Countertop here, this is a solid surface countertop. And then you can retract or extend this as well. Drop that down. Furthermore, if that's your workstation right here, you have a USB and a 110 pull up plug-in. Now, if I'm sitting here, I could be sitting here. We could swivel the driver's seat around. We got a spot to sit and eat lunch. For some people too, there's a there's a Ram track added over there, so you could put, also put another table over there. You could have two people over here playing cards. Many different options that way, eating food, maybe a spot to work. Easily swivels out of the way. Um, up here in the chassis, take a look at a few things. Nice big screen. I'm not gonna go through all of this because this is a Winnebago uh, camper van video, uh, not specific to the chassis, but yet we can still help you answer some of these questions. Um, the chassis itself, you're gonna have lane assist, um, assist to keep you awake, uh, backup camera. The backup camera actually is HD right into this. Uh, so it's a beautiful view, very easy. I mean, it looks like you're seeing everything right through your own eyes, maybe even clear. Um, this has the nine speed transmission. So they claim 18 to 22 miles per gallon. And that nine speed transmission does shift very, very nice. Anybody that's driven one of these, you could ask somebody to do your research. Everybody's gonna say they do drive very smooth. They shift well, good gas mileage. That nine speed transmission actually helps the fuel efficiency even more. Uh, you can feel it shifts even nicer. The previous transmission worked very well too. This one's just a little bit better. Uh, nice big screen here, spot to put your phone. Um, up top here, you got some places to put some things, um, your phone, uh, different items like that. This does open, it's just a little stuck right now. Um, big screen, easy to see, touch screen, easy to use. Um, you know, I could talk for days about that. 
But if you have further questions, text me, call me on that. We can definitely talk more. Now lights in this unit, they put lots of different lights in here. Uh, so you can have it as bright or as dark as you want. You get a little bit of storage up top here. We're gonna have a storage cabinet on the other side here too. Beautiful cabinetry. This is all made in Forest City, Iowa. They use most of their own materials. Um, went to the factory a couple months ago and you know they have good working people putting all this stuff together. Uh, pull handle here. So this TV, you pull this, releases that swing arm in this way. Let's say you have two people up here that wanna watch, you can. Right now we have a zip tie on there so we can't get it all the way around, but it really opens up your options for where you wanna watch that TV. Uh, not many Class B vans are gonna have two additional seats facing forward. So that way if you have children, with a seat belt, you talk safety, you want them to be facing forward. Uh, up top here, we have some more of our control systems. Our gen set, start, stop right here. You don't have to set foot outside of the unit at all. Tank level, so I just press that. Right now it says that we have a quarter tank of LP and thank goodness, but our gray and black tank are currently empty, as they should be. Freshwater tank empty, battery level, says our exact voltage for the chassis and the house battery gives you peace of mind when you're going down the road maybe you want to go dry camping things like that um, generator 0.1 hours we just got this one in start stop we're inside right now i'm not going to fire it up um, so again more control systems we have the precision circuit uh, control system you can select different ampage of power uh, Truma system, that's going to be our hot water heater, furnace, and inverter control up here, your LP valve, and then our holding tank heaters if it's some colder weather that you need that for. Moving into the galley, we're going to have a single sink, pretty good size though for a B-van. Now this solid surface, so I mean you can have it this, this side just clearly to use for extra counter space. This side you could use for a cutting board if you wanted to. And a two burner stove over here. So this is gonna be a propane stove. Light switches, a little basket for spices and things like that. Down below, some good drawer storage. You could actually fit some plates in here. And you have three of these. The bottom one, you could probably even put some shallow pots, some pans in there. Then you do have, you know, some space for a small garbage can. Some storage up top here as well actual manual they send with you you don't see that as much solar charge controller so there's a couple solar panels up on the roof I'll try to take a peek at that in a minute here now this area we have shelving the shelving is removable um not only that there's a little mirror here it sounds silly a little bit but i can see myself i can stand here it's useful for getting ready for the day some people i mean you could use this as a live out of work out of type of situation. The, the options with these vans, very wide open, very diverse uh, with a variety of options. One of the favorites with the 59G is the fridge freezer combo. And the fridge for a B van, very good size. Very deep, very spacious. And additionally, you have a freezer. A lot of these just have a tiny little freezer box that is less than half the size of that. Microwave, max air vent fan up top. You got some nice drawers down below the bed for storage. This can be our breaker panel here. And up top, very deep cabinet storage, very good quality. You can feel the quality in these. Soft touch ceiling as well. Good insulation here. Um, now this bed here, right now we obviously have it up. So when we have it up, I mean, I'm standing here, I'm walking through the whole thing. I could put bikes in here, dirt bikes, uh, skis, many different things, many options, a uh, variety of things. Here we have uh, some hanging uh, side accessory hand panels. You know, lots of plate. You can, I mean, I'm gonna reach my hand all the way down in here. So you can put a bunch of stuff in here um this is our air mattress for the front cab so you got two extra seats where are they gonna sleep air mattress or give them a tent tell them to get outside all right this is your camper they can sleep somewhere else right um 
storage here, it does go this way a little ways, right up until about this point inside, probably about, and then it does notch up actually too. So part of the storage, um, you can kind of see, notches up right there. There we go. And then we get another little drawer here, nice and deep. So with these drawers, you're saying, well, they're a lot of them are small, but compared to a lot of B-Vans, all this does add up very quickly. Um, when you lay down, this can be your spot to put your phone, um, you know, things like that at nighttime. And then there is an additional rack back here as well. And so now we're pretty much in the back of the unit, or we are. So how are we gonna put the bed down? First of all, we have a seat belt buckle simply unclips simple to use these two rods here they place here as storage you can put them on your back doors across that back door to hang a curtain if you wanted some more privacy just to extend your camper space your van space so these legs come out with a gas strut just like that open and close slide our mattress underneath the bed down now we got these wooden slots here they have improved this mattress significantly it's a memory foam mattress a little bit angled but you still have space to get into the bathroom we can't forget the bathroom i almost missed that so in the back of the bathroom here you have a little storage i'm about six feet tall i'm bending over a little bit but i can still get in here now as you know, many will say, we gotta figure out what works for our sit down situations. I'll tell you one thing, the shower is narrow, a little tight, but leg room wise, sitting down here, I can extend my legs fully. Like I said, I'm six feet tall. This toilet would be more than comfortable to use. Um, I've been in many homes that not as much space as this. Storage down here, the reason they have it in this little compartment is to keep things dry same thing with our toilet paper holder has a little cover on it i just knocked some pieces out but it has a little cover on it to keep it dry you got a little sink here so it is a very functional bathroom the shower would probably be a little tight but at the end of the day it'd probably be more of a quick wash emergency situation the toilet very functional both functional very usable um, so we'll step outside now walk around the outside a bit Oh. Now let's get that awning out. So press of a button on the awning. Press one button. Watch it come out. I can stop that awning at any point and it's gonna stop right where it's at. So press the button, you hit retract or hit off and it's gonna stop at any point if you don't want it to come out all the way. You got a light strip at the end here and then a little light piece right there as well. And you know, sometimes you see a lot of these awnings will come more straight out. With this one that angles down, you actually get protection from the sun that way, not just from the elements. You got some outside hookups, um, you know, cable hookups, 12 volt hookup as well there. Um, 110 plugins, if you need some of that outside. Backup camera, our digital antenna, TV, radio, things like that, air conditioner. Um, this ladder is movable, so this is locked in. There's a key lock here, so you do need your key to unlock that to move that if you want to. Let's see what the hitch is. Sorry. On this one, we have it. It's the hitch, vertical hitch loads ready for 350. So you're probably gonna be about 3,000 pounds towing, or at least that's where they want you to stay with this one. Uh, when we look down the unit, real quick viewing, um, that rack, that ladder hooks onto that rack all the way down. So very easy to just hook right on there, climb up there, use that, that rack up top for storage, you know, check your solar panels, or if you do need to do any maintenance, that way you can. Um, one thing I forgot, let's just pop our heads back inside real quick. I wanna show you. These windows are probably one of the coolest things. And you're starting to see these in more items now. Um, 
but these window shades that just pop right up. So when you're camping, you don't think about this as much in a B van, but one of the most important things is privacy. And a lot of times your windows are tinted, that's great, but you're about to go to bed, you don't always want to put anything in the windows. Just slides right up, easy to use. All right. Don't have to hit your head on the awning. You know, some of our other travel trailers, you walk by that awning, I would have hit my head right there. Um, so, if I don't fall down, I'll give you a little view of the top here without trying to shake too much. But we got solar panels up top. There's two of them. And when you look at this, so there's no room for the rack, right? Well, if you're gonna put something up here while you're traveling down the road, not a big deal. You're driving, you're getting a charge on your battery. So you could use this, not scratch those up, but you could use this. Then you get somewhere, take your gear off, and now you got solar panels charging. So we got beautiful view, and you can see all the versatility that comes with this one. Pass it off to my great video guy, Charlie. Oh, and can't forget to open the doors. So our door on this side opens very, very wide. One thing to make note of is when the awning is out, this can continue to open. So don't get careless with ripping this door open because then you're gonna end up ripping your awning. You notice how this is covered. Helps for insulation, but also and it's magnetized, privacy, zips, and unzips. These little features don't seem that important, but because they're specifically made for this specific unit at Forest City, Iowa, specifically for this, those can be very spendy because they're made specific. So that's why, that's what makes them so important. It's the little things to detail with Winnebago that really matters. Even this, I'm inside, oh shoot, where's the handle at, where do I pull? Well, this is obvious, you pull right here, open the door, easy. Ease, ease to use is the goal for Winnebago. So we got these two doors open nice and wide. With our hookups, these are water hookups. So people say, well, how am I gonna be hooked up during the day with the door open? Well, if you need to use the bathroom at night, have a little water in your fill tank, then you're good to go, no big deal. So during the day, if you need it, you can open this door and hook it up. Uh, otherwise, put some water in your fill tank. Good directions here though. Very similar to Grand Design. Hot and cold outdoor shower available. And that's where if you want to put that bar across to here, you know, you could have privacy shower curtain right there for yourself. Uh, screen system, just like up front, close that off. Heck, if it's a nice day, nice night, you could be sleeping with a screen system. That'd be beautiful. Uh, blue light here for when you're sleeping. From this angle, you can see the basket for nighttime and for storage on the back end there. The drop down basket. And then I know we showed you all the drawers and such, but now when we look underneath, you can see that even when you're sleeping, you still have awesome storage on this unit all the way through here. Back end, uh, thin storage here. I think that table might fit in here, but I'm not sure on that. Um, and then we have our spray hose that goes right down here, buttons closed. Walk around the side. Wheels are a little updated, comparatively a little different look. Um, there's our exhaust pipe for the generator and our dump valve gray and black tank dump tank right there. Our LP tank fill, and then you're gonna have a spot for your sewer hose location because you obviously don't want to travel with that down the road. But when you look at this, small size lots of capabilities and it's the versatility of everything that can be done with it where even though you can do it yourself and make your own this one is made for you but you can still do a lot of things to use it how it works best for you if you have any questions give us a call please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching our video